It's no nation but the imagination particularly resonates with Wasafiri, which is a magazine concerned with international contemporary writing and especially cultural travelling. Some of you may not know what Wasafiri means. It's from the Swahili for cultural travellers. And people in 84, when I started it, used to say, Wasa what? Wasa what? What's that? Um, and say, why have we got such a funny name for a magazine? But I think times have changed. And, you know, it is now a well-established literary magazine funded by the Arts Council, the Open University and Ravage. Um, I'm not going to say very much more. I'll just, um, Colin's already said a little bit about the prize. It started in 2009. It's in its seventh year. And I think it's probably distinguished for awarding um, prizes in three genres. Um, so we have three winners who are going to be announced very shortly. And I'm sure many of them are here and they're all waiting to hear who has won. So I'm not going to go on too long. This um, has been an exciting um, judging year, as have previous ones, and we've had lots of eminent judges, including Blake Morrison, Marina Warner, and indeed, speaky spoky organiser, Colin Grant. Um, this year's judges are Roger Robinson, Toby Litt, and Yasmin Alibi Brown, and many of the writers who have won have gone on to do wonderful things. So, despite this wonderful writing we've heard from established writers, Obviously, new writers have to begin somewhere, and this is really what the prize is about. Um, before I introduce Roger, who's going to announce the prize, I just want to thank the Arts Council, Routledge, and the Open University, and especially my wonderful Wasafiri in-house team, um, Nisha Obana and Shamila Bismahun, who've dealt with much of the reading and administration, as well as Teresa Palmiro and Bobby Nea, who supported them. So thank you for that. Roger is going to announce the prize. He's also going to read from his poets, poetry. Um, he's a Trinidadian writer, musician, and performer who's lived in London for 20 years, and he's performed worldwide. In fact, we were together, Colin was talking earlier about um, being in Trinidad with Hannah, and actually we were all there, um, in fact, at Bocas in 2013. Roger and I were on a panel together as well. Um, so this kind of Trinidadian flavour, I think, partly to the evening. Um, so Roger's performed worldwide. His recent collection is called The Butterfly Hotel. He was chosen by Decibel as one of the 50 writers who've influenced the black British writing canon and has received commissions from several organisations, including the VA, VNA, Stratford East and the National Trust. And he's also a renowned musician. So I'm going to hand over to... Roger to announce the prize because I'm sure you're all waiting and then he's going to read so thank you hi um, it's my great honor to be asked to announce this award um, the 2015 Wasafiri new writing prize uh, one of the things I can say is when you're a writer and you're young or you're at a certain level of your career just that tiny bit of encouragement can make all the difference when you're doing stuff and on that note, um, I hope everybody who has either been shortlisted or won or commended here feels encouraged to continue with their work. Um, I have looked at the Wasafiri New Writing Prize. I check in on it every year just to see who won, to check out what kind of writing is happening, to understand what's happening with the ecology of writing. So it was really an honor to be asked to judge it, and also it's an honor to be asked to announce it. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to start with fiction. And I'm going to read the shortlist and then read the commendation and then announce the winner. Is that cool? <laughs> okay, okay. So the fiction shortlist is um, My Brother is Back by Ushi Gatwood, Postscript from the Black Atlantic by Koye Oyedeji, Welcome by Akwike Imezi, After the End of England by Gillian Bess, and This is How It Ends by Paul Howard. Um, in the judging of the fiction, uh, we were torn between craft and emotion, which one we should give more weight to. Um, I won't tell you which one we went with. Um, um, so we have a commendation by, for Welcome by Akweke Emezi. So give him a round of applause. And for its finely wrought, well-crafted um, writing, uh, we decided to give the winner to My Brother Is Back by Ushi Gatwood. Are you going to? Come on. <laughs> 
by Joe Stones, Hospital Notes by Alice Curham, Dreaming in Latin by Jill Widner, Saturdays by Sarala Estruck, Red Glow in the Night by Anne Field. And the commendation was for Saturdays by Sarala Estruck. Let's go along. And the winner in life writing category, um, is, was a piece that we all as judges were very moved by. Um, it's by a suitable family, for a suitable family by Louise Kennedy. And I, I don't think she's here to So I'm gonna hand this back to Sushila to accept it more. In the last section, um, poetry, which inspired a lot of heated debate. Um, <laughs> The shortlist was Bush Tea by Richard Georges. It's Really Summer by Janine Rich. The Girl Grew by Amal Said. I Keep Trying to Lose My Body by Amal Said. Mm -hmm. Under the Tamarind by Royston Emmanuel. And the commendation was for Bush Tea by Richard Georges. And the winner is. I broke the structure there, I was just going on one there. Clap, clap, yeah. And the winner is The Girl Crew by Amal Saeed. And you did hear right, in a blind, nobody knew the names of all the, you know, the sifting or the shortlist. So she had two of the five shortlists were her own poems. So congratulations. Oh my God, this is amazing. Because like before I got the email to say that I was shortlisted, I was so convinced that I was never gonna write another poem again. <laughs> I, was, I was like, this is too hard. My family are gonna find what I'm writing. I'm gonna be in trouble, it's done. But no, seriously, thank you so much for this. Like I never ever wanna stop writing. Like, yeah. uh, so congratulations to all the writers, everybody who participated. If you want to participate next year, please do. Um, uh, I'd like to give congratulations to Wasafiri for doing a great job. It was a pleasure. The judging with Toby Litt and, and Yasmin Alibi Brown was so easy, it was like hanging out. <laughs>